Dogfish by Mary Oliver Some kind of relaxed and beautiful thing kept flickering in with the tide and looking around, black as a fisherman's boot with a white belly. If you asked for a picture, I would have to draw a smile under the perfectly round eyes and above the chin, which was rough as a thousand sharpened nails. And you know what a smile means, don't you? I wanted the past to go away. I wanted to leave it like another country. I wanted my life to close and open like a hinge, like a wing, like the part of the song where it falls down over the rocks, an explosion, a discovery. I wanted to hurry into the work of my life. I wanted to know whoever I was. I was alive for a little while. It was evening, and no longer summer. Three small fish, I don't know what they were, huddled in the highest ripples as it came swimming in again, effortless, the whole body one gesture, one black sleeve that could fit easily around the bodies of three small fish. Also, I wanted to be able to love, and we all know how that one goes, don't we? Slowly, the dogfish tore open the soft basins of water. You don't want to hear the story of my life. And anyway, I don't want to tell it. I want to listen to the enormous waterfalls of the sun. And anyway, it's the same old story. A few people just trying, one way or another, to survive. Mostly, I want to be kind. And nobody, of course, is kind or mean for a simple reason. And nobody gets out of it, having to swim through the fires to stay in this world. And look, 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 I think those little fish better wake up and dash themselves away from the hopeless future that is bulging towards them. And probably, if they don't waste time, looking for an easier world, they can do it.